Hello everybody and welcome back to Wild Flowers. And technically I shouldn't be recording this, I should be recording Coral Island right now, but uh, I really want... I'm going to do it in a minute uh, after after this. I'll record this one and then I'll go and do the other recording I meant to do. Because I'm just too excited to have my barn today. So <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. Okay, so it's 8.30 in the morning on a Sunday. My barn is going to take, let me just check, 120 wood. 1800 coins and 60 iron ingots so it should have enough for that at the moment i am going to be able to harvest all my marigolds today but what i might do is leave that either till later in the day or i don't know because the honey is going to get affected by that i love marigold day because you get a really big bump in the honey don't you it's fantastic. We've got loads of oranges today. Did someone want oranges? I have this feeling that I've got a that I've got a quest to get oranges for someone. I do. I do. I get 235 coins if I take five of those oranges over to Marty. Wonderful. And the mulberries, once they, the mulberry tree has grown, will get me something as well, which is going to be fantastic. See, so yeah, I'm going to leave those marigolds until a little bit later. Right, and in the meantime, I need to get into the mines because I need to make a potion, don't I, today, to, uh, and I'm almost certain it's Lena. Like, I was thinking overnight on it, right? And Lena had that whole story about how her, like, great aunties or something, like, magically transported all the town's food into the lighthouse and stuff. Like, there's no way she's not got, like, witchy blood in her, right? So, I think, I think it's Lena. That is my, my thoughts right now. So, let's go and find, I'm going to feed you. And then let's go into the mines and go and find, um, uh, Topaz. I'm not too worried, like, I'm not desperately needing money at the moment, so I will just give the stuff to Marty whenever I have a minute. I'm not going to worry too much about going and going and giving him stuff right now this second. Uh, actually, I, I just want to pet you today. Once we get oh, cows, once we get cows, I'll have milk, and then like you'll have loads of like nice things, won't you, cat? Although by then we might actually be we're almost finished. Making friends with the cat. Oh, I don't have summon small things on today. Ooh. That could make the mines terrible. Alright, so I think... Uh, oh, and we haven't watered half the plants either. That mulberry tree is looking closer and closer to getting done. So I will get a bit more wood today, maybe, and get the silkworm sorted out. Silkworm box. I didn't need to... There was no point in doing that while I had no food to feed them. Uh, but there's maybe more point in doing it now. And also, I've got things to sell to Damon as well, but I just haven't quite gotten down the, the pub to sell them. But Sunday, I expect it will be closed. So I very much expect I need to make a couple of pieces of paper. That will bring my wood down. I will need to get more wood. I'm probably going to need to make more wood. But uh, let's just see if I've got the rest of the things I need. So paper and ink are usually pretty easy to get. And then there's two other ingredients that I need. One of them I think is witch uh, weed, which I tend to pick up a lot of. I, almost, I can almost guarantee you I won't have the, the ink. Right, so let's make a speed boost. Let's make a summon small things. And then we're going to try and make the speed time spell, which will require paper, ink, and a topaz. And that should be my last thing I need. So we just need to find the... And it tells you on the signs, so that should be fine. I need to find the areas of the mine that are likely to have a topaz. Let's actually take these. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Make me fast! Right. Good stuff. And once we get in the mines, I'll take the summon small thing spell. Let's try level 12. 
yes, that is a, a good level to find Topaz on, apparently. So we'll just hit all of the gem nodes here. And then I'll try 11 or 14 or whatever. Things I want but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. I love her little incantations. That's how cute. Right. Uh, let's go for this one. Having the mixture of those two spells is so nice. Oh, wow. That was quick. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go and make another piece of paper. I'll chop down a tree as well. Because at the moment, I'm a little bit shy on wood and I don't want to be. I want to make sure I've got plenty. I don't know where Lena's going to be today, though. Uh, I've got to give it to her in the daytime. So I'll run around and see if I can find her, but like I might not be able to. Did I make the paper? I didn't make the paper, did I? I hate the fact the paper has to be in my shed and everything else is down below. Right, so one paper. And I always need wood, so I can't just be like, I'll just make a big stack of paper because I'm just... I always need more wood than I've got. Uh, make an ink. Make a speed times... But do I not have enough magic? <gasps> I don't have enough magic. Right, to the wellspring with my speedy boots on. I might end up being a little bit too slow for this today, but we'll get it tomorrow, definitely. I do try to stick things into the wellspring, usually. <laughs> On my way past. I still have not worked out how to catch bugs yet. I don't know whether that's even a thing in the game, to be honest. Might not be. You never know. Alright, let's stick our better something in here. Have a Nigella flower. Okay, that completely that completely regenerated everything. Wonderful. So back we go. We'll go make the speed spell, and I will see if I can find. No, I'm not going to be able to, am I? It's going to be like too late by the time I get back. Normally, anytime after six, the coven are not anywhere to be found because they are in their coven. They're on the way to the coven, at least. So unless I can get this done by six o'clock, which is not going to happen, so. I'm gonna have a chat to Sophia instead. Do you have a good relationship with your mom, Tara? We do now, but uh, my teenage years were definitely a bit rough. Oh, well, that's good to know. Maybe Juliet and I will get along better someday too. Sophia doesn't know what has happened to her child, does she? Maybe there's a... Was Giacomo the one that wanted to move here? Maybe Giacomo was magical. Maybe there's more to know about that. I'm certain Juliet is magical. Absolutely sure of it. Okay, so. The problem with me making the, the speed spell and the <laughs> other spell was that I ran out of magic and that caused me some issues. We have a lot of incantations to learn. So I think there's still a long way to go with the coven and the faith realm and all that sort of stuff. But speed boost is done. Speed time spell. We will give that in to the high priestess during the daytime. Now, we are at night time now, unfortunately. So we'll have to wait till the morning. I could go and find... Uh... I could make berry smoothies to bring to the grief group. How do I make a berry smoothie then? Let's have a little look. I don't know how long that's going to take, but. Berry smoothie. I have everything except for blueberries. Uh, it grows wild near the beach in spring, summer, and fall. 
Huh. Let's go and have a look and see if I can find a blueberry. Then I could make smoothies. That would be really cool. Oh, everyone wants me to give them the... Anyone that's walking around right now is definitely not the High Priestess because she'll be at Coven right now. So, there's witch weed here. There's a load of, like, bushes here. Near the beach and here. Supposed to grow near the beach in spring, summer and fall. But I've never seen a blueberry. Oh, Marty's here. Lovely. I could give you my oranges. I so appreciate the help. Running a ranch all on your own is hard. Did you know that? Really? I didn't know that. Give I a, did. It's really something, isn't she? I wonder if she'd like to have drinks at Damon's some night. Why does everyone like give us so much? Do they like a smart chick? Because I'm one of those. Right. Not that I want to date Marty or anything. Hey, Damon. Yeah, so the bar isn't running tonight, clearly. My parents called the other day and asked if I wanted to sell the bar. What? They said it'd be good to travel, but I'm not sure where I'd even go. I'm brewing you some beer to sell, so don't sell it now. <laughs> oh, here we are up at the lighthouse. Are these blueberries? No, they're not, are they? Yeah, they are. Yes, I've been missing these the whole time. Not that it's worried me particularly. I, I, you know, as soon as I actually tried to find them, I found them. <laughs> Let's have a chat to Kai. Almost time to put on my thicker wetsuits. And the thicker a wetsuit is, the more you have to do a crazy chicken dance to get your legs out. That's hilarious. I'd like to see Ikari in a wetsuit. I've, n I've never seen him in anything but his, uh, his one costume there, so... Right then. What is my... what is my goal after this? I've upgraded everything as far as I can upgrade. The barn is the only thing that I need to to do, so I'm waiting really pretty much for the game to give me something to do at this point. Um, oh, I know. Let's chop a bit more wood and get my... I've got enough money now as well. Because I'm trying not to, to use up the resources I need for the barn. Uh, but I could, should be able to make my silkworm box now. At least one of them anyway. I can make two. I've got two silkworms. But uh, 127 out of 8. I'll need to get a little bit more wood after I build this, but there we are, silkworms. Uh, wait to collect silk thread from the silkworms and make silk fabric. Now I imagine... Yeah, that I need to put a mulberry leaf in to craft it. Uh, so I'm just waiting at the moment for my mulberry tree. Let's have a look at how that's going. Uh, which will give me something in six days' time. So in six days' time, we can start collecting mulberries and mulberry leaves and collecting silk. So that's going to be really cool. Happy about that. Uh, could do with maybe some more cotton as well. Cotton's a really good seller, to be fair. But I'm guessing that silk will be something that I can sell all year round because it's on a tree, whereas cotton is a plant. So I have no idea quite how long that's going to last me. But yeah, I might just clear my farm up. Oh, it's already that late at night, apparently. So let's head to bed. Uh, in the morning, I will do the usual, water my crops, look after Am my I chicken. Am I ready for bed? I will, uh, tomorrow morning, I will uh, harvest all the marigolds. I can't replace them until Tuesday though but they'll wilt if I'm not quick so like I might get away with two days or maybe even three before they wilt but I'm not sure so let's have a look at these
So I think the honey already decides it's going to be made, like, it decides based on a tick in the morning, I think. Ooh, I had one ready to collect. Nice. So there'll be a second one, I think, arriving tomorrow. And then a third one a little later on. So we're just going to collect up the honey, keep it... Um, I figure I probably have beeswax building up as well. Yeah, nice. And I can start to make candles and things with that. Or just use it in my spells and things until I've got plenty, I would say. But I'll need to run down all of my stuff before we change the season. So if it looks like I'm getting towards season change, then we'll... We'll change things about. Looks like I've got some limes on my lime tree as well, ready to co ready to collect. Beautiful. Sugar cane ready. A lot of stuff is actually running down at this point, so I'm hoping that maybe. Maybe the change of the season will be close and then I can just get grab that last bit of corn and the sunflowers and then we'll be ready to go. Right, it's now 9.20, so it's time to give Parker the instruction to start on the barn. And then find Lena and see if Lena is the High Priestess. Very exciting things. Things that I basically recorded this episode to do because I'm like, yes. So don't give the, the the don't do that. We do this and we get the barn. There's still like loads of stuff, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things that he can build for me that I don't even know what they are yet. So that'll be interesting. Okay, I'll get started fixing up that old barn right away. Should only take a day or so. Nice. Barn is go. I don't have time to talk to you today, Parker. Sorry. <laughs> I never do. I've always got too much stuff to do. I try. I do try to be social. I really do. But I'm just too excited to see if Lena is indeed. Am I sure this is the high, the priestess. high priestess? I'm as sure as I can be. That she oh, is. Oh wow! Well done. Thank you, novice. You should hold on to this, though. Wait. This really means. Shh. Someone might be listening. But Lena, you're one of the most respected members in this community. I'm sure if you just told... They're not ready. Not yet. Haha, I have now Witch Witch discovered the identity of all coven members. I have been rewarded with an increased magic spell. Like storms that make the river sing. Fill my magic from the spring. Extra magic. Oh, wow. I doubled my magic bar. Very good. So I'll go to the coven tonight and see, like, what the deal is now. Because we haven't uh, been able to turn the seasons yet. So there must be more to do at the coven. But what do I do now? I'm just waiting... I'm waiting for the barn. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go and check on my distilleries. Firstly. Then I'm going to put on, if I have enough copper ore for it, I'll put on some copper essence, which I don't. So maybe I'll go and grab some. Uh, because I want to try and find out a lot more of people's favorite things. And then it's going to really help me make friends a bit better. So I don't think I've got any. No, yeah. So I need to uh, brew some more. What else is needed for that? Just to, just to check. Um, crystal ball potion. I need red dye and paper. Paper shouldn't be an issue at all. I'll cut some wood down for that. But red dye, I need toadstools for, don't I? No, red dye, I need clay for. What was it I needed toadstools for then? I needed it for one of the dyes. I swear I did. Blueberries, I can finally make blue dye. I can make bone meal. Yellow dye was lemons. Oh, something that I needed to make required. Hmm. Alright, 
man. Fine, fine, fine. See if I care. Um, I will make some red dye out of the clay, which is absolutely fine. Let's just make a few. It's the only thing I actually need clay for. And then we'll make some, some paper later on once I've actually got some of the other thing I needed that I've totally just run out of my head what, what it was I needed to get. Uh, oh yeah, copper. Once I've got the copper, we'll cut down some trees and make some paper as well. So basically need to cut down trees. Oh, look! Parker's doing the barn! Finally! Finally we can get some livestock up in here. Yeah. Right, that'll do for making me a bit of paper. Then I need to go into kind of the middling sections, I would say. Or maybe even actually the end section. Of the mines and we'll just go and just mine everything in there, I guess, and make some money. And now the money that I make can go towards things like uh, increased numbers of chickens and seeds and things like that. At the moment I don't have any seeds. I can't buy more flower seeds until tomorrow. Um, and like I say, I'm just going to go to the coven tonight and then I'll have more of an idea of exactly how long I have left of the season. Because it feels like we've been on this season for ages. But I feel like it's really, it has given me a really good opportunity uh, to just make my, uh, to, to sort of get all the things sorted on my farm that I wanted to get sorted. So it's given me a really good opportunity for that. I haven't even used the, uh, the onsen recently, have I? Hot springs. Thought I would use that all the time, but half the time I'm limited by the the actual time left in the day rather than anything else. But that's fine. I'm finding loads of silver, which is fine because I'm thinking that actually maybe one of the next things I should make for myself is a metal working table. So we'll make a whole load of copper concentrate ready for uh me to find out people's favorite things and if there's any favorite things I can make that would be ideal there's a lot of things that I think I'll be able to make once I get milk from a cow so I'm thinking that getting a cow is going to be really important and really help me you know sort of get these presents that people are going to need so I feel like it's going to turn around a little bit now from uh from sort of things that I need to update around my farm and needing money all the time to sort of being able to use a bit of that to, towards gifts and making social friends as opposed to those anti-social friends <laughs> oh, no, I swear I do talk a lot of nonsense don't I sometimes but yeah just clear out this level quickly is there anything else that I needed to do at the moment? I need one more honey and then I can get Lena's honey quest done. Um, I can make the berry smoothies for the grief group now, I think, anyway. I might need more strawberries. If I need more strawberries for it, then I will try and make sure that, uh, that I grow them before I turn the season and get that done. Get excited! <laughs> uh, that reminds me of Dr. Stowe. Get excited! Uh, Parker is building your barn. I wonder if that is a Dr. Stone reference or if it's just generally just get excited. I could eat some food. No, that's fine. That's enough for today. That's plenty for me to make my copper concentrate with. And tomorrow we'll get loads of money because we'll sell all the marigolds. So that'll be wonderful. That's 400 every time I sell a set of marigolds now at this point. Okay, so what I could do is go over the river and see if anyone wants anything over there that I've got. 
That's always a good way to do things. But also, oh, I wanted to go to the coven, didn't I? So let's do that today. And then we could go over the river maybe tomorrow and check the board. Uh, I might also go and see Zephyr. Um, go into all of the shops and things and just see if anything happens over there. As I feel like Zephyr might be the one to talk to about getting gold from the mines. But there might be certain things I can only do in the fall. Let's have a chat to Bruno quickly. I on thought the way that old bridge was never going to get fixed up. That thing was built steady as a tree trunk, but it collapsed anyway. Anything can rot. Always wondered if someone tinkered with the supports. Hmm. Well, there definitely is some kind of like saboteur around here, isn't there? So that would be an interesting one. Right, to the coven because we have now unearthed all of the identities, all five of them. Pink, it's Lena! High Priestess Lena. Cameron's influence troubles me. More and more people attend his services, which means he'll persuade them to believe that there are malcontents out to do harm to the community. We need more information. Novice, Acolyte, the time has come for both of you to learn shapeshifting. Ooh. How do you feel about a feline spy mission? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> yes! I see where you're going, and I like it. Feline spy mission? We'll learn how to turn into cats and then sneak into the consciousness center. How close is my guess? Telepathically close. Every witch learns from Ariel how to shapeshift themselves into animals. But they must wait until they're old enough not to misuse such power. I trust both of you to treat your animal hosts with kindness. Uh, what if I get stuck as a cat? <laughs> no, that would be funny. Ariel won't let you get stuck as a cat, I promise. Parker's mentioned more and more talk of rooting out the malcontents. And Cameron is often scribbling in this tiny little notebook of his. We need to know what it says. Okay. Visit Ravenwood Hollow for a transmogrification lesson. Then see if you can find an open door at the center to sneak through. This might be going too far. Um, attend a seminar as humans? Couldn't we attend one of his sprint up the mountain seminars? Like... As humans? They cost a fortune. I'm not paying those entrance fees. <laughs> Besides, we need that notebook. It doesn't... Right, now I'm starting to get the point of the Consciousness Center. It costs a fortune to do the seminars. I wondered what the... Like, it all seems so reasonable. And now I know that he's getting money off people for the seminars. I'm like, yep, that's where the scam is. Hey. I'm not bothered by this. As long as we don't get caught. Learn how to shapeshift. Go and infiltrate the consciousness center as spies. That sounds like such a cool thing to do. I want to be a spy. Okay, time to head back and probably go to bed. And then tomorrow we'll work out. No, it's still only nine o'clock but it takes a long time to run across the, the village so maybe tomorrow yeah maybe we'll take a little early night and then tomorrow we're going to find out how to be spies sounds amazing and then i might be able to get a cow as well at some point um like i said i've got money to so that i can sell things uh marigolds and stuff so i've got marigolds that can i t that can be turned into money by selling them to violet and then hopefully that might be enough to get me a cow. It might not though. A cow might be like twelve hundred or something. I don't know how much uh, how much old dude charge for old Marty charges for them. Um, no, we're not going there now. No, no, no. It was tempting. It's tempting, but no. Do that tomorrow. Oh, so tired. I think I could probably get away with planting more stuff as well. There's probably like it sounds like this consciousness center stuff is going to take a bit. But I'll see what's required to actually uh, do the cat transmogrification. Or transfiguration, or whatever you want to call it. No, it's definitely a transmogrification, because <laughs> you're turning into a mog. Uh, I'm hilarious. 
Hey, Thomas. Good morning, Thomas. <laughs> Not such a good morning at my farm. Why? My well water's coming up full of mud and silt. Oh, no. Oh, is it broken? No, that means it's about to go dry. The drought has gone on too long. Oh, no. Have I, have I let the summer go on too long and now Thomas' is well is dry? Well, you're welcome to use my well if you need to. Appreciate it, but that's not going to solve the problem long term. Yours will go dry soon, too, I suspect. And while you're planning for this dry spell, might want to check in with everyone in town. This has been a scorcher of a summer. I will. Hey, thanks for giving me a heads up, Thomas. Okay, so Thomas says a drought has hit Fairhaven. Ask around town to see if everyone's okay. Well, I will, but like, first. <laughs> I want to go see Ariel first. Right, so let's have a look at the notice board and see if there's anything that I can actually make. Uh, we need summer night, levitation. I need two batches of that. Um, candles, beeswax candles. And then gold. So I want to go and see, like, if um, Zephyr is asking for gold. Arcane texts. In fact, I haven't even like gone in to look at what they're selling or anything like that. Are we too early in the day? Of course we are. Ah oh, man. Is anyone awake yet? Pigs' wings and dragonlings. Specialized care for creatures rare. What? Can we have dragons in this? Because I would, I would die. I'd be like, oh, what? But then I think people in the town might be a bit, like, suspicious. If I suddenly... When are you open? Monday and Tuesday is closed. Wednesday to Sunday is open. Mm, it's closed today. That sucks. Okay, well, we'll just head over to... to um, Ariel's place, which I hope is open. Can we see him inside? Oh, he's also closed on a Monday and Tuesday. Okay, well maybe they'll come out at nine. I don't know. Where are they all? <laughs> maybe I won't be able to do this today. They've all hidden inside their houses. About this place. The apothecary is also closed on a Monday and Tuesday. Why is everything closed on a Monday and Tuesday? Where are they all? Something must happen on a Monday and Tuesday. Do they do they all like go and party in the Fey Realm or something? Because every single one of them is closed on a Monday and Tuesday. Now that's unusual. That doesn't happen in the town. Ah, you're all down here. Wonderful. At least I can do what I came to do, which is the main thing. So, Ariel! So, you are to learn how to walk a mile in a cat's paws, are you? Mm-hmm. Yes! <laughs> Finally! I've been waiting for years! <laughs> I don't usually say this, but... Patience. Violet doesn't do patience. Don't forget respect for the creatures allowing you to use their corporeal forms. What? I, I thought we were going to learn how to transform into cat form. This my cat look. Don't be ridiculous. No one can do that. But we can politely ask animals if we can ride along in their bodies for a while. Exactly. Grey Malkin and Cleocatra here are experienced with ride-alongs. Is Grey Malkin my cat? <coughs> Cleocatra. Oh, of course, of course. Dara, Violet, it's time for you to ask permission. Grey Malkin, you are the noblest of felines. Oh, that's great. I would be Malkin. grateful okay. to walk with you. <laughs> Is this some sort of joke? A, a, a hazing ritual or something? Friends. Please excuse the manners of our newest member. Her speciesism is brought on by ignorance rather than malice. Now, I can sense the thoughts of our fine friends with gills and feathers and fur. But what makes you unique, dear witches? 
is that you can share their consciousness. Tara? Cleopatra must know she can trust you. Cleopatra knows she can oh, trust me. Okay. Uh Cleopatra, can I um walk with you? <laughs> she said, of course. Now, take these shape-shifting incantations. Oh, nice. I don't have to make it myself. You'll need to cast them on your chosen cat. Right then. Cast the animal shape-shift incantation on your familiar. That's your cat. All right then, Cleopatra. Let's go. Sandwiches. It worked. I'm a cat. Now off with you. Oops. Do your skulking. We need to head to the consciousness center. We've got to find out what's been happening there. So cool. Wait. You sound normal. That's wild. <laughs> it raises so many questions, but we got a scamper. There's no time to waste. So from now on, I can turn into the <laughs> catalyte. Uh, I can turn into a cat. I know being a cat is bonkers, but come on, no dawdling. Oh, we have to go this way to the consciousness center, do we? This is amazing. We're so fast when we're a cat. I don't know if it just seems like we're faster. I mean, I do have my fast spell on at the moment, so I am probably a lot faster than uh, than Violet is. So if we go this way. Zoom. Zoom zoom. Maybe I need to wait for Violet to catch up. It's go time. We need to be totally silent. <laughs> if they catch us in here, they might think we're just mousers keeping the center clean. Ew. But they're not gonna turn a blind eye if we start spouting the queen's freaking English. True. Cat's cut my tongue. Got it. It's the king's English now. Notebook, notebook. Hmm. I wonder where it is. Look around the consciousness center for Cameron's notebook. Oh, nice. Ah, In the box. Here it is. And the presence of malcontent seems to be on the rise in our fair town. It's they who spread the pagan beliefs we saw at the summer festival. Whatever they may call themselves, their purpose is clear. To sow chaos and keep you from your true potential. That's a lie. Violet, I thought you told me not to talk. <gasps> A disembodied voice! It has to be witches! Oh, I mean, a uh, uh, malcontent! <gasps> Tom to scram! Whew! Cleo Gatra is fast! That run barely took any effort. Glad you enjoyed it, because I think the incantation is about to wear off. Man, human senses are nothing compared to cat senses. Whew, I know, right? Thank you, Grey Malkin. You're the best, Cleopatra. I'm gonna try my best to use space to um, go between, because like, I, whenever I use the mouse, it really is so sensitive. Now, let's take a look at this journal. <sighs> we have a heck of a report to make to the Coven at the next meeting, that's for sure. Good job Tara found it before you talked, Violet. She, speak to the High Priestess and tell her what you uncovered at the Consciousness Center. Oh, I need to talk to you about how you're feeling. Okay. Hi there, Violet. How's your garden doing? Ugh. <sighs> Sunflowers like sun, but not feeling like they're on the surface of the sun, you know? I've been recycling water as much as I can just to have enough water for my flower beds. And timing Sebastian in the shower. I swear, his hair routine is even more complicated than mine. And you have dyed hair, so that's even worse but I think I might be done for this season after I harvest my last batch. The bees need water more than the flowers do. Okay. So, I heard Vanessa invited you to her grief group? 
I haven't been for a while, but Sebastian wants me to come back. He likes going. Weirdo. Hmm, interesting. I think I should go to that, definitely. Uh, okay, so... I will check on that. I need to check also. Uh, I'll I'll give Cleopatra a little. Oh, she has a name now. She gave me two crickets as well. We're very close to being like at full full love with Cleopatra anyway. Like just keep petting her every day. I should be fine. How did you do that? Did you teleport? It's gonna run back. Um. Yeah. So I haven't, I haven't fed my chicken yet. So that's something I need to do. I need to water any crops that I've got left, which is my one piece of corn at this point. The mulberries are starting to bloom. Wonderful. Let's give that a quick water. And my sunflowers need a water as well, I think. My watering can is out. Four days remaining. And then we can make silk for the parachute. Um, we've got lemons to collect today and olives and apples. The trees are really coming in handy at this point. Did I, did I water the sunflowers? No, I didn't. Let's do that. Okay, then what do we want to do? Chat to people, I guess. I finally got to walk up to the mountain pass and I saw all kinds of wildflowers. I didn't even recognize all of them. Thanks for your help in fixing up that bridge. Everyone in town is going to love it up there. Nice. Okay, so um, while the cat's away, speak to the high priestess. Tell her what you uncovered at the consciousness center. Barn in stable condition. Get excited. Parker is building your barn. So I think that will probably be a thing that is ready tomorrow. So I'm going to head over to Violet's place. Get some more flowers. Maybe get a few more easy to grow crops from Lena and sort of uh, rejig my garden a little bit and I'll, I'll chat to people around town as I see them about things as well so if I've only talked to Violet about her garden so maybe go and talk to like Marty and maybe go and talk to uh, keeping those Selling those. Don't really want to speak about the grief group until I've got the smoothies together. That's fine. Uh, Bruno wants something. Oh, right. We can talk to Bruno about the, the water, well, I guess. Well, I guess the fish are the only ones who don't have to worry about running out of water. Hey, Bruno? They might not, but I do. I barely got enough to keep my ice machine going and my fish fresh. I'll buy what you got to sell now, young miss, but I might have to close up soon if it gets much hotter. And to make things worse, Damon's keeping me to a two-drink limit. I'm parched! <laughs> Talking about Damon, I've got some alcohol to sell for him. Hi, Damon. Gosh, you must be the one person whose business is doing well in the drought. Well, the problem with being the local watering hole is you have to have water to make beer. 
I've been bringing jugs of water over the ferry, but the prices keep going up. My taps may be running dry soon. <sighs> I'm not sure I have the heart to tell Bruno. Oh dear. We'll have to do something about this, I think. Um... Kai apparently doesn't care. If you ever spot a spare coconut on the beach, I would be totally stoked. I get a little homesick sometimes. I probably should get Kai coconut based things as presents because, yeah. So, how's Lena doing with the drought? Let's see. Hi, Lena. How are things going? Oh, busy, busy. We've ordered jugs of water for milk water. Everyone seems to need more than the town pipes can supply. So if you need some water, they should be coming off the ferry soon. Oh, and if you have any eggs to sell, that would be great. Marty's hardly got any lately. <sighs> I can't wait until this dry spell is over. Okay, well, I do have eggs, but you haven't put the price up on them, have you? So, or have you? A 20 to buy, 10 to sell. Is that more than they used to be? Can't remember. I'll sell you five, just because I can. Um, other than that, I'm going to just juice everything, mostly. I want to keep a stock of a few things, so that's fine. Uh, I don't really need the money at the moment, so... I'll keep it for cooking and, and the likes. Uh, Wesley. Hello. Do you ever catch up with your family back in Alaska? Well, my dad walked out on us when my brother and I were three. Went back to Russia. My mom and I talk, but she also thinks I run a bookstore in Milkwater. Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to tell her about, um, no, you know. I'd like to find out more about that. Anything that you would like? No, probably not. So, next thing I want to do is, uh... Go up to Marty and Thomas. Although Thomas is already was the one that came to me with the problem, but Marty, it sounds like he's having a hard time. I don't know where he'll be though. Monday to Wednesday, nine to five. I thought you said the land here was ripe for all kinds of development. It is, but mucking around with public land won't go over well with my voters. I'll tell you what doesn't go over well. No water for anyone, your voters included. What exactly is your plan, Mayor Soft? Uh, what's that about development? Oh, uh... I was just telling Otto about my personal development plans. Mm -hmm. I came to Fairhaven to allow my soul to bloom, just like Thoreau. That is a lie. You've definitely come here to develop the island, haven't you? And you're definitely undercover. As the great man said, I went to the woods because I wish to live deliciously. Really? I think he said deliberately. That makes more sense. Not deliciously. <laughs> that doesn't sound right at all. Well, sure, he could have said that too. <laughs> I was just stopping by to tell Marty that Fairhaven will always provide for his livestock, even in the lean times. Tara, Marty, have a good one. Okay. Oh boy, it's a Animals species. are absolute sponges, you know that? I'm sure your crops are the same way. Oh, ah, the cows are nature. so cute. So beautiful, so fearsome. So that's, I guess, how Marty feels about the drought. I asked Giva if she'd get drinks with me, and she said she didn't drink. So I asked her if she wanted to get coffee instead, and she said she didn't drink coffee. Don't tell me you didn't get the hint. Well, then I asked if she wanted to get tea, and she said she loved tea, but not men. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Every guy in town's after Giver, but she doesn't like men. <laughs> that's so funny. 
So that's that. Okay, it looks like as well I might be getting towards um, a cutscene with Marty. So, although that might have been the cutscene, actually. I don't know whether that was just a cutscene about water or whether that was the the one star cutscene. No, it wasn't. So, okay. We'll be coming back down here tomorrow anyway to grab our first cow. Who else might be worried about... I need three more people to ask about this. I could maybe ask Giver. I've asked Damon. Um, Amira might have trouble. However, I need to head over to the coven, so I'll ask people in the morning about it, I guess. I, I, I usually do my rounds and I find people and stuff. Uh, Francis, are you having any trouble? Probably not. Oh, I am so thankful for modern AC technology. Getting sweaty pit stains is humiliating. In the apartment where I grew up, my sister and I used to play this card game called Briska. Whoever won got to park themselves right in front of the AC. The loser just had to suffer. What's your sister like? <laughs> Well, she and I don't really talk. I think she's kind of done with our family. And I get that. But why is she done with you? You're such a nice guy usually, Francis. Oh, okay. So I need to talk to you about this, do I? Cameron, this is your first Fairhaven summer too, right? <sighs> sure is. Come by the Consciousness Center any time you need a break from the heat. We just installed new air conditioning. Not that air conditioning is a reason to go to a seminar, <laughs> but it's not not a reason, am I right? Wow, that guy, I swear. Angus, are you doing okay? Sometimes working next to Francis is frustrating, but then I see him through the window and I'm like, who is that dashing man with the loop? Oh yeah, my fiance. <laughs> I love how excited they are about each other. It's adorable. Kim, are you having any trouble? You might be, huh? No. Okay. I'm just gonna head. Like I'm really behind now, so I need to just head straight up to the coven and talk to Lena about uh, what we found out about the consciousness center. Do I want to know what's in that journal? I'm so nosy. I'm like, there's a mystery to be to be solved here. I need to know. It's getting really interesting, the story in this, isn't it? Super enjoying it. Don't even have time to pick flowers. Gotta go find out what's in the journal. Lena, I found it. Here you go. Tara, Violet. Was your mission successful? <laughs> Was it ever? Once Ariel taught us how to transmogrify, we practically waltzed it into the center. It was transmogrify. Dragging that journal away in cat form wasn't easy, but we managed it. He started a heading for a list here, possible malcontents. No names on it yet, though. That confirms my suspicions. This isn't just idle talk. Thank you, you two. You were excellent. What can I say? We make formidable spies. <laughs> and you've performed admirably in your shape-shifting abilities. You may now shape-shift responsibly into a cat familiar after creating shape-shifting incantations of your own. I wonder why I would want in to In cat do that. form, you'll be able to utilize their swift reflexes to catch fish and other useful items. Catch fish? Hmm. Also, while the cat is in control, your body can be resting, so it allows for more hours in the day. So I can go fishing as a cat, and it, no time passes. Well done, both of you. Or like you using their stamina instead of yours. That's amazing. I'll have to see how um, difficult that is to make. Right then. Is there anything else that we can do right now, or are we just sort of waiting around? I think... 
Yeah, I think we're just waiting around at this point. Um, yeah, no one's got anything really that much to say to me. What about you, Adept? Is your familiar around here somewhere? Of course. She's a red fox that Ariel rescued from a trap a few years ago. She's a little skittish, but oh, I adore her. My familiar started clawing at our back door and then prancing over to the couch like it's his. Sebastian's like, why is this cat so chill with you? And I'm like, uh, who knows? Cats, dude. <laughs> Shelby, do you have a familiar? Shelby, do you have a familiar too? I got, uh, four right now, but I've had more. Of course, master of the woodlands. He's got, like, they're all living around the woods around him, probably. <laughs> only fools think you can have only one familiar. Your life changes every day, doesn't it? Will we be seeing your familiar at the Coven Circle anytime soon? Nah, he's a beaver, so he doesn't come around here. But if you see any dams, make sure you shout, Good job, buddy! His familiar's a beaver. That's adorable. So the head of the Fairhaven Coven is my former babysitter, Lena? Don't say it. But no one can hear us out here, and you're not wearing your mask. It's the principle of the thing. Okay, well, I've had a good chat to everybody. I still need to find two people that might be affected by the drought. Um... And uh, it might, Amira might have something to say about it, I would say. It might be affecting her clinic in some way. Who else? We've talked to Violet about it, I think. It wasn't Angus. Cameron had something to say. Bruno had something to say. Damon did. Francis didn't. Given might. It might be. Kai didn't. Kim didn't. Marty did. N Natalia might have something to say as well. So let's try and find... Parker didn't. So Natalia give her... Oh, Sophia. Maybe Sophia. So let's try Sophia. And Amira first, probably. So we'll catch them in the morning, because obviously we're now... But yeah, there's nothing to do at the coven now, which is kind of crazy. It's rare that happens. There's no no sign of turning the season yet either, so I'm wondering whether we can't turn the season. Maybe we've done enough coven stuff for now, and I need to sort the drought stuff out before we can turn the season. That might be the case. Well, I did have marigolds to plant, and strawberries, and a pomegranate tree, in fact. I don't know if I'll have time to do them all, though. Oh, come on. Didn't mean to do that. Not that it hurts to water them, I suppose. I'm glad there's not a lot of planting to do in this, because it does take a while. use the soil plots in ages. I'm thinking that, that, that I will start trying to brew more potions. I mean, part of me is just like, nah. <laughs> you know, the potions to grow things quicker and the potions to grow things better and all that stuff. For once, I think I'm actually, actually watering the right plots. Hurrah. I'll plant the strawberries in the morning. And if I don't have enough to make berry smoothies, then I then I should uh, then I should be okay once the strawberries are grown. Lovely. Let's go to bed. And in the morning we can do Is a little bit more planting as well. As working out who I haven't talked to about the drought yet. A place for hay, restore the barn. Barn is done today. Fantastic. I knew it would be this episode. Fantastic. So good, so good, so good. Task complete. You have been rewarded with a barn. And a hay field can now be built from Parker's services. 
Well, well. I'll be checking on that. Oh, my corn is done as well. Planting my strawberries, because I'm almost certain we're going to have another few days before I turn the season. And I will also plant in my pomegranate see, uh, tree next to my mulberry one, I think. Whee. Why not put trees in those beds? Trees are so much better than plants, I swear. Okay, so and apparently now I can be a cat and I can use that to catch fish if I need to. Whether I want to, I don't know. Right, let's go and have a look at this barn then. How utterly wonderful. And this area is getting really like choked up again. But I can now make a hay field. So I should, I think. Oh wow, look at it. It's so cool. I am mega happy with that. Okay, gonna go straight across to Parker and start on the hay field. Oh, maybe I should water stuff first. But I could like totally water stuff later. Okay. Pick up a few weeds and things. Uh, right, so. That makes sense as to why a clear catcher is always close by as well. Because you're sometimes going to need her for transmogrification purposes. So, uh, I need to water all the flowers as well. The hay field is not a big priority for me at the moment. Um, I do need to check on the prices of cows as well. Is Marty open on Wednesday? I don't think he is. I think he's not open now till like Sunday or something. I will double check. Uh, let me check Marty. Oh, he is open on a Wednesday, but after that, he's closed until Sunday then. All right, so I should probably go see him first, actually. So many people on this island are just so up to no good, aren't they? <laughs> Cameron and Marty, definitely both massively up to no good. Right. Marty, how much does a cow cost? Hey, do you think I could take some of the chicks into the onsen for a photo op? Maybe. Absolutely not. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so a sheep is 1,200 and a cow is 1,500. So we need to save up probably until Sunday to get the cow, I think. It's fine though. I can, I can wait for a little bit of time. So next episode, we'll probably get our, next, our first cow, which will be wonderful. In the meantime, I can have a chance to Thomas. Quickly. Out of all the ranchers Otto could have handpicked to move into the ranch, he chose Marty? Hmm. I asked if his animal husbandry program had any classes on sustainable ranching, and he said, I'll make things sustainable one day once I get this place off the ground. We all know what one day means, Marty Emerson. Yeah. Right then, so uh, I need to make some money. Um, waiting on a little bit of honey for one of my one of my things. I need to get some iron for Thomas. 
and mulberries for Sophia. All of which can wait a little bit of time. It is Wednesday now, so some of the shops in uh, across the road will be ready. So maybe I could have a little look at those as well. Um, silk, we're still waiting. We just need to wait for silk. Berry smoothies. I could do the grief group stuff today as well. So I think I'll just head across here. Still the same old, same old. I can try and do the levitation potions maybe. But... Oh, you're closed. Arcane Texts is closed on Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay. But most places are open. So let's go and have a little chat to Zephyr. Wow. Her place is cool. It was you I saw by Thomas's farm, wasn't it? Yep. It sure was. And I really wish we could have chatted. But... We're not supposed to show ourselves to new witches until the time is right. Lena says you're a talented witch. I'm raring to start on your broom. What? So you're the one who makes everyone's brooms? Oh, I don't make. I bond and balance them. Brooms are bonded to the witch, and they're often passed down family lines. You'll be using Hazel's old broom. Oh, I know the one. But we gotta make sure it's balanced for you. <laughs> don't don't want you sliding off the back in midair. Whoa! <laughs> no, we certainly don't want that. But using my grandma's broom. Is it disrespectful? I'm not sure if that's okay. It feels a bit disrespectful to just take it. Hazel inherited this broom from her Aunt Vivian. So I feel certain saying she wouldn't mind. You've already got the broom, but I'll also need essence of silver and some levitation potion. Just don't get that silver out round Wesley. It, it, it would be rude, you know. <laughs> I have a lot to learn about you all. I hope I don't embarrass myself. Oh, no, you'll do fine. Oh, this is such a beautiful game, I swear. All right, so now we get the broom. The silver potion and the levitation potion, and we're all good to go. I knew I needed to see Zephyr, although well, not quite for the same reason that... Okay, let's um, pop into the Apoca 3. And have a chat with Perry. You've never been in a real apothecary, have you? <laughs> this isn't some pharmacy run by mortal doctors. I think I may have said Apoca 3 instead of Apothecary. <laughs> It's a hard word, okay. Careful what you touch. I work with sensitive ingredients. I will. Promise. By the way, what exactly are you, Perry? A pixie? I am a fairy. <laughs> to call me a, a diminutive is an insult. Sorry. Sorry. I have a lot to learn about Ravenwood Hollow. <laughs> now that is a fact. Oh, if you ever need potion supplies, come visit me. My ingredients are the finest in Ravenwood Hollow. I will. Okay. What do you sell then? Parsley and rose water. You will sell, eventually, crystal ball potions, forget-me-nots, heather, mistletoe, mint, mandrake, levitation potion, toadstools, Oh, all the things that I might need. Wow, thistle. Thistle. And then eventually, a concentrated levitation potion recipe, a maximum restore potion recipe, and a revitalizing potion recipe. Hmm. What do you buy? Uh, you buy some of my potions. Levitation potions, charm potions crystal ball potion so I really do need to like kind of make potions to sell to Perry so that I can get all the things that's wonderful uh, so what are the shops uh, around here so been down to you, you oh yeah the animal shop is open as well probably over here. So there's four shops, I think. 
Doing alright, Ariel? Where are you from, Ariel? It is a place you humans call Brazil. But when I came into being, the humans called it Pindoretama. Yes, yeah, so you are a Brazilian, like, fairy tale, I'm guessing. That's a long way from here. One day I may tell you the story of how I came to Ravenwood Hollow. When we are better acquainted. The only thing he sells is his hair for those uh, for those potions. Okay, that's fine for the health potions. I'm hoping I won't need those. I'm hoping I will care for my for my dudes well enough for that. I'm just gonna go back into Zephyr's place and just make sure there's nothing else. No, it's all about the broom at the moment. So let's get that done. I should be able to get some silver potion. I'm also going to have a look at the grief group stuff. Uh, I did say I was going to do that. And so that is going to require berry potions. Uh, actually, let's have a look at the broom Thanks, now. Grandma. So I've got the broom. I knew I'd eventually need it. So the berry potion, berry smoothie. Oh yeah. I can make enough of those to go and see... Uh, Vanessa? I tell her I've got something to bring to the grief group. Vanessa can be hard to track down though. Uh, you sometimes find her in Violet's shop. Or around there. Oh! <laughs> well that was good. I found her almost immediately. Wonderful. I'm so glad you've decided to attend. Come by the Consciousness Center any night. Okay, after seven in the consciousness center. I've got nothing to do with the coven, so may as well. But it looks like Giver had something to ask. Oh, right, yes. It is, it's Giver and Natalia. Hi, Giver. I hope the drought isn't messing with your instruments. On the contrary, I couldn't have asked for anything better. This drought is isolated at Fairhaven. It isn't occurring in milk water, which makes it perfect for research. I want to take several groundwater samples and see how much moisture remains in the soil. Uh, is it unusual? This drought can't be that special. That's what everyone here seems to think. But I just can't believe that. Okay. I spoke with Thomas about the drought, and he said he had to dig his well deeper just a few years ago. Strange that the aquifers could deplete so quickly. Hmm. Another little mystery. There's lots of little mysteries coming up in this game, and I love a little mystery, so... Uh, Natalia has gone to the bar, probably. Yes. Final person to ask about the drought is you. Hi, Natalia. Oh, there. Looks like it's going to be another scorcher today, huh? And uh, that brings me to a bit of bad news. My water pressure's been too low to keep my slack tub cold enough to set my pieces when I'm done working them in my forge. Of course, I can still melt your ore into ingots as you need. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. No worries. Hopefully this hot spell will pass soon. This drought is making everyone miserable. Huh. I wonder if some witchcraft is in order. <laughs> of course. Speak to the High Priestess about the drought. So do I want to go to the grief group first, or do I want to go to the Priestess about the drought first? I actually do want to... I want to do the grief group. I've got a feeling this is going to be... It could turn into something interesting. Hmm. Oh. I met Wesley, Grandma. He gave me your journal. I'll keep it safe, I promise. I miss you. It's beautiful. She talks to the grave. It's a bit like in uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Hmm. Yeah, grief group. Tara, come in, come in. That smoothie looks delicious. Have some of the pie that Juliet brought, and popcorn from Sebastian. Violet, welcome. Hmm, pie and popcorn. 
Thanks. Hey, bud. As I was saying, sometimes it can be helpful for us to confront the strength of our emotions. It makes us realize what actions we want to take, and what those actions are. So, what did you think? <laughs> it's helpful. Being open with you all, it actually helped. Yeah, it's the weirdest thing. At first I couldn't take it seriously, but after a while I was like, sure, let's talk about feelings. Tonight I realized I want to do more. About my mom disappearing. Like, maybe I should still be looking for her. I don't know if that's what Vanessa meant. I gotta stop at home before going to the circle. See you soon, Tara. Okay. I've got pie and popcorn for that. And it's only 10 past 7, so I've actually got time to still pop up and see Lena about the drought. So we can do both in one evening. Hurrah! If I'm quick. Right then, Lena. We need to do something about this drought. Thomas told me his well is running dry. Yes, summers here in Fairhaven are always hotter and drier as they wear on. The growing trees and crops will drain the groundwater until the harvest time. Is there anything we can do? A summon rain incantation might bring some relief. Here's what you need. Bring it back here to the circle when you have it ready. Okay, summon rain spell. And it looks like Violet had something to talk about as well. Let's have a chat. A potion. Psst, Tara. What's up? I love her shoes. I've been thinking this summer about taking charge of my grief, like Vanessa said at group. I want to go through the standing stones and see if I can find out what happened to my mom. Go through the standing stones? I don't think that's what Vanessa meant. Maybe not, but it's what I need to do. I have to find her. But we can't get in. Yes, we can. We just need a keystone. And I know where one is. Have you ever noticed that weird rock in the town hall display case? No, but okay. Yes. There's a sign that it says it's not native to the region, but was found in the mine. It was found there after Mom disappeared and Lena's dad lost his memory. Wow, so something big happened. Like, there are a lot of people in this town with parents with, like, lost memories and things. And I was assuming dementia, but maybe there's a magical thing. I don't know who put it in the mine, but it doesn't belong in Town Hall. It belongs to the Coven. But the High Priestess doesn't want us to take it back and arouse suspicion. She says it's safer to stay out of the gloaming. Maybe she's right, Violet. Your mom and Lena's dad were much more powerful witches than we are. My mom would never have left one of us behind in there. And now, I'm old enough to go in after her. Sounds dangerous. What if you go into the gloaming and you disappear? Then at least I'll have tried something. No one will even notice us go into Town Hall as long as we're careful. We don't have to sneak past any people this time. Just some pesky locks. So, we'll need two lockpick incantations. One for the town hall front door, and one for the display case. I'm on wellspring duty all week. And you're better at incantations anyway. Come visit me when you're ready. But remember to, you know, be cool about it. Right then, so we're breaking in, are we? Lockpick incantation can now be crafted at your writing desk. We're getting a lot of stuff done with the coven lately though, aren't we? And a summon rain spell. Gosh, let's go and see what all of this is going to take. And the big long run home as usual. I didn't actually go and check with uh, Parker about the hay field, did I? So we'll need to do that at some point. Uh, I think I'm going to end the episode 
possibly at the end of today. We're sort of running into the hour 20 mark, so it's going to be a bit long if I go another day, I think. And we've done so much this episode as well. Um, right, to the basement. Let's have a little, little look at what, what is required for these things. So we need a summon rain spell. Um, I need a bit of essence of silver for that. Black ink and paper. Okay, so definitely uh, I need to make essence of silver. Probably at both my stills, to be honest. One for my broom and one for my uh, rain spell. So what else was in the rain spell? Poppy flower, which I have, ink and paper, which I can easily make. Fine. Lock picks is eggs, paper and ink. Okay, so I'm going to need three inks and three papers. What else was needed for my broom? Levitation potion. Okay. I will need to make one of those then. If I make two batches of levitation potions, then I can um, sell one of those to the remaining five to Wesley. So we could probably do that because they come in batches of three, don't they? So let's go and make some pepper. Make a few, actually. <clears throat> Is my beer ready? Yes. I still haven't sold any of my beer to... <laughs> So I need to do that and then maybe I'll be able to get my cow, but uh, we, we can't get the cow till Sunday. So I've got time to like make myself a little bit of money and that'll probably be... So next episode is going to be lockpicks, rain spell. Although I can make the lockpick lock spells right away, so we... I should just do that, shouldn't I? Make them... I don't really want to break into town hall, but you know... Needs must, I guess. Craft two of those. I'm just waiting on the essence of silver there. How long does that take? So that will be done in the morning and I'll be able to do the rain spell tomorrow. So that, that's perfect. And then the levitation potion. Oh, actually my cauldron isn't doing anything right now, is it? So I will need essence of copper for that though. All right, okay, so we're just going to have to make lots of essences. Do I have copper at the moment, though, is the question? I do. So we'll be able to make that tomorrow as well, so get the broom flying. So, oh, man, now I want to do another episode, but I do have to go and do some Coral Island, so we'll have to do that uh, either later on today or tomorrow. But that's going to be it for today's episode, I think. We're going to need to head Time to bed. bed. So cow and a broomstick and breaking into the town hall and making some rain all gonna happen next episode wow it's getting exciting isn't it so there we are all done so i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome